The significance of this concert is that we're sending a message of peace, tolerance, and compassion from Jordan, from the heart of the Middle East to the entire world. I feel it's extremely important in this time and age to do that. Um, of course, I'm, I love this country so much. It's where I was born and where I grew up, and I'm extremely passionate about it and its message of peace that I feel it's my responsibility as a musician to share this message with the entire world. In Jordan, we've been extremely fortunate to have been raised in a culture that promotes the values of tolerance and compassion. These values are really well nestled within, within the fabric of, uh, of our society. And it's a tremendous blessing to be able to share it with the entire world through music, through such a film. With music, you feel extremely blessed that you have access to a language that's so universal, that everybody gets. See, when it's a language that communicates through emotions, through the heart, it's direct. Um, especially that you're, you're working in the domain of instrumental music versus lyrical music that would have lyrics that could constrain one's imagination to the, uh, to the message that the lyric presents. With instrumental music, it's up to you to create your own lyric, to live the song and make it your own. And I think that's also an advantage that you're able to use this music to cross over all sort of barriers around the world. If you're blessed with the talent of music, and if you're blessed to be able to, to share it with the world, I also feel that this puts a tremendous responsibility on your shoulders. Because I feel that with music, you have to dedicate yourself to a goal that's larger than yourself. Because you have access to this language that all people can understand instantly. And for me, furthering the cause of peace, bringing people together, building cultural bridges through the arts, is really what I dedicate my music for. It's, uh, it's an integral part of what I do. For me, it gives me a sense of, uh, of duty. It's the legacy of what lives on after I die. After, you know, if my music lives for 150 years, you know, maximum, 200 years, after that, what is it that's going to live on? It's going to be the message that you stood for. It's the fact that you lived every day trying to do your best and working toward building a better world. And also what's great about music is that you have the ability to inspire the young, and this is something that's extremely important to me. One of the greatest things about playing music for me is the ability to share with people joy through art. With music, you know, one of the most beautiful things that I experience when performing, whether it's in a workshop for kids or, or playing, playing a large arena, is the smile that you see on people's faces. I think there are a lot of things in this world that uh, you know, could make you upset or, or, or nervous or tired, and I think with music, you can give a little window of hope for people to dream and get elevated to, to, uh, into a different state of mind. And honestly, the greatest thrill is when I'm able to put a smile on someone's face while, you know, while they're listening to my music. I believe that the fact we were able to put this concert together, inviting such amazing people from different parts of the world with different talents and expertise, it shows that things are possible in the Middle East, that a better day will be here soon. And in Jordan, it's great to be here because it's always been an oasis of tranquility, really. And we just hope that through Jordan acting as a beacon of hope, we hope that the rest of the region would come together with us um, in the quest for a better day in the Middle East.